ever felt that ROS course that you have bought left you hanging in your project? And that is because real world robotics is different from just taking the course. Hi there, my name is Lukman and today we will be looking into how to get proficient by taking courses and other resources available. You have seen the courses, right? Most of them promise to bring you from beginners to intermediates to pro. But the question is, how much a course of few hours can truly offer? Let's first take a look into pros of a course. And the first one that comes is video lectures, learning through videos that is interactive if the video is of good quality. The second is structured learning and then comes the interaction with the instructor, which is very useful. It's like having an interaction with the teacher. Then comes the community. People also have gone through the course and they fell into these errors and now they have solved it. You can go through the solution and you can solve by yourself. These are the things that courses offer and they are truly valuable. But Here's the thing, there are some gaps that we cannot just fill as an instructor, but we are trying to. The first one is real world complexity. Have you ever spent weeks on a single bug and solved it and then made the changes in your source code? Now the thing is, if I make a course, we have a bug and we document or we record as a lecture, a whole debugging process, you would say, please give me the money back. It's useless. You are just researching and you don't know things. So that's real world things. And you have to learn by yourself. Courses cannot teach you. The second comes in one sized approach. It is not possible that one course structure can fit all of the learning levels that someone is coming to the website and they take the course their backgrounds are different so this is a gap that instructor cannot interview all of the students so they can offer a different a little bit of changed curriculum that's a problem from instructor side that cannot be solved the last one is keeping up with the change of software stacks. Currently, you can experience the change from ROS1 to ROS2 and that's huge. The processing is different. People are having a lot of difficulties. Their main projects are done on ROS1 and they are learning ROS and they have to do the task of shifting to ROS2. That's a lot of overhead. This is why at Robotism, we are not just creating courses, we are creating learning pathways and those learning pathways are segmented, software side, hardware side, because if you want to learn in the field or about the field, it's not just about taking the courses, I have done this, I have done that. It's about a continuous journey that you have to spend not just weeks, it takes months. So while courses are a good start, remember they are just a start deep diver explore your projects intricacies of your projects and learn more about in depth about the projects and keep on learning in a the field then the results will come and then things will make sense and connect with each other